Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Docket Padama. This time, I will be sharing with all of you another tool that you can use while you are writing your research paper. And this is what we call the citation generator. So you can use this in your actual manuscript and also in writing your reference or your bibliography in a particular or prescribed format. Okay, so this particular feature that I'm talking about is called the Citation Generator, which is part of the feature of Killbot. As you can see, my Killbot account is in premium. You will not be able to access this feature if you do not subscribe to the premium account of Killbot. So the features included in this premium account is the Paraphraser, the Grammar Checker, the Killbot Flow, the plagiarism checker, the summarizer, the translator, and the citation generator, which is the focus of our discussion for this particular video. So as you can see, other than the citation generator, there are already features that I am sure can be helpful to you while writing your research paper. We are going to create another video for these particular features. So for now, let us focus on the citation generator, and I'm going to click on that particular icon and this is what will greet you when you click that particular feature so you only have two parts for the citation generator the space where you enter and uh, copy and paste your url and then the other part at the bottom is the format that you will be using for your reference or bibliography so at the bottom let us click the down arrow and then as you can see there are different features that you can use which is part of the apa under apa you have the seventh and sixth edition i know there is already a recent edition for apa but for this particular uh feature of killbot the only available edition is seventh and sixth generation which is i'm sure is still uh, acceptable in writing or being used as part of the format of APA in your uh, respective community. Aside from APA, you also have MLA in Chicago. Aside from those form of uh, citation um, format, you also have other styles as stated here. Okay, so let us proceed to the example that we will be using in order to generate a citation. I have just recently finished a study that focuses on the wellness of students. So I will be using that and uh, copy one of the URL and let us see if it can generate the um, corresponding APA 7th edition format and the in-text citation that we will be using for our manuscript. Now, going on to our uh, study, this is the study and this is the reference that we use. Let's use the first one, this one. You just highlight the URL and you just copy that one. This is from Arul Raja and Harun. And then we put the URL to this particular space and then just click Cite. So after clicking Cite, there will be a result of the citation that you will be using, using APA 7th edition. So you just click the, the title, Relationship of Psychological Well-Being. Okay? And then at the bottom, you can see the citation that you will be using for your bibliography or your reference. And then at the bottom is the in-text citation if you are going to use that in your discussion inside your manuscript so how do you transfer this format full citation to your manuscript all you need to do is just click and then click this double double paper icon and then you can already get a copy of that particular citation except for the in-text citation so you don't need to copy that it is uh, simple. You just use Arul Raja 2000. So in order to transfer the 7th edition APA format, let's uh, use the last part and then paste that. 
So as you can see, this is already the uh, pre-formatted APA 7th edition uh, format for this particular source or reference of Arul Raja. And then again, if you're going to use Arul Raja, you have to use this particular citation, Arul Raja 2000 inside your manuscript. So it is as easy as that. You copy and paste the URL and then you choose the type of citation style and then after that you click cite and you will be presented with the pre-formatted APA 7th edition for your full citation that you can use in your bibliography or your reference together with the in-text citation that you will be using in your manuscript. So basically that is how simple and easy it is okay and then you can do this over and over again and it will just count the number of sources that you have already cited okay so i am sure that this will help you lighten up your load while writing your research paper so you do not need to think of the sequence of uh, uh, elements that you will be using while writing your uh, full citation for your references so it is already pre-generated all you need to do is just copy so thank you very much everyone and i hope you were able to take away something from our discussion and do not forget to please subscribe to my youtube channel at token padama and i will see you again in our next video discussion goodbye everyone